Hello all and welcome to another Captain Entertainment video. It's Art here with the book review for Every Dead Thing by John Connolly. It was my reading author's first book for the Reading Rush 2019 and wow was it amazing, wow was it gripping, and wow was it long. Let me explain what I mean by all three of those things. It was amazing and gripping because the writing was well written, the prose was well thought out, and there was no wasted word. And the character of Charlie Parker, the main character who they call Bird, because <clears throat> he's named after a jazz musician uh, who was nicknamed Bird. So Charlie Parker being nicknamed Bird just kind of does the same thing there. Um, the character was vibrant and what's the word I'm looking for uh, flawed and it, he was a strong character in many 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 sense, senses of the word um, the book was dark and gritty like I like a lot of my crime novels, it was in the vein of a Bosch novel or a Lucas Davenport novel. For those who may have read those series, the Bosch novels by Michael Connelly and the Lucas Davenport novels by John Sanford. Um, it was dark and gritty. However, it was long because it felt like it had two climaxes. Because two-thirds of the way through one part of the story wrapped up and then and then the book kept going and going and going and going so that's where it felt a little bit long in the tooth now not saying that, that part wasn't good but it led me to wonder and led me to believe you know if the book would ever end and you don't want your reader after two-thirds of the book were tight succinct paced well and your last third of the book was just it seemingly to me tacked on tacked on in a good way and it explained a lot of things that needed to be explained it just felt like it lost some of the adrenaline some of the page turning pulse pounding page turnness uh so in that sense um of course, this is the first book in the Charlie Parker series. Will I continue on with the series is a question I always ask myself. That answer is, of course, yes. I, At the time of recording this, I've actually already read book two because they are on Kindle Unlimited. And so the investment for reading them is free for me since I subscribe to Kindle Unlimited. Um... Do I like the character of Charlie Parker? That answer is yes. He is deeply flawed, but he is very much in the vein of Walt Walmeyer, Harry Bosch, and Lucas da Davenport in the sense that he's a dog with a bone. In the sense that he needs to have something go right. He needs to have... Um, closure and justice and a true sense of the word justice he doesn't technically need the law he needs justice and justice is what matters so and the supporting characters to me this is also a, a, a part where the um, series the book fell short is that the supporting characters with the exception with the exception of his six foot two tall big man that kind of is his protector sidekick whatever you want to call him uh, the ancillary characters are forgettable they are they're kind of like the Jennifer Aniston of 
book characters. In the sense of, yeah, they're good, but you won't rem remember what they did after it's done. Like, name a, a really, really good Jennifer Aniston movie that sticks out. You can't. Because she's a, serv a serviceable actress, like these characters were serviceable, but they don't, they don't stand out. That's the problem. So, with that being said, though, I really, really did enjoy the book. Uh, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars on the Goodreads scale. And I will give it a read it because it's the part of a series. I'm not going to say you have to own it or love it. I do own it in Kindle book format. So, the first one I do own because it was given to me as a gift in Kindle book format. So, that being said is that. Uh, let me know what you thought of Every Dead Thing if you read the John Connolly series. I do think John Connolly is a very accomplished, amazing, acclaimed author. But in that sense, that is all I can say. You're going to forgive the dog barking. I've done all I can do. Uh, they did... They just seem to be barking this afternoon for some stupid reason. So, without further ado, you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video if YouTube is working that day. And, short little announcement, the currently reading update will be making return back to prominence this weekend so you are welcome for that um, and other notes and notices will be taken from there so without further ado happy reading everybody I'll see you again soon and peace